What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Wondershare Filmora tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to color grade or how to color correct. And it's actually really simple and really easy to do. Um, of course, they did come out with this really new cool little feature that allows you to color grade and adjust your uh, color correction, your uh, brightness and contrast and your colors in your video or picture as well. So I have some 4K footage from Brad Smith. He sent me some videos to experiment with and to you know mess around and use in a tutorial. So I used this one, and it's just a video of a of a model just kind of posing with the camera and everything. Of course, this is just raw, and uh, it looks really really nice. So this is a perfect example how to color grade and how to adjust the colors and everything. Of course, you could always stabilize the footage here. Uh, I'm not sure if Filmora actually has that feature. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna click this little button right here, and it looks like a little paint palette, I think. So you click on that, and this will bring up the advanced color tuning. And if you move or kind of scroll your video kind of forward a little bit, you can even play your video to give you a preview of this. So as you can see, he's kind of focusing the video here and he just kind of goes down. We're going to go ahead and just skip a little bit to where it's kind of focused. I kind of want it to be focused on her face right here around. So she's looking uh, to her left and right here on the left, you have some presets. So you have the preset and the adjust. If you go on to preset, these are pretty much um, you know filters already pre-made for you to use instead of going to the adjust and adjusting everything manually so this just speeds up a lot of your time so you can do 007 if you wanted to you can do Batman you can do black and white and this looks really nice but she's kinda dark now if you want to adjust that you can click on the adjust you can go on to white balance and to do this it's I mean it's pretty simple you just uh, move this or move it up or down if you move it to the left of course it will be more more um, cool and I love love that they added this right here so you get a visual re uh, representation of what you're gonna be doing and messing around with the colors you even have your own histogram which is pretty cool you can go on to the 3d LUT and you can change uh, the same exact presets right here except it's right here so these are just pretty much LUTs I guess but different filters they have a lot more so you can go down Select one that you like. I like the Mission Impossible one because her, her face kind of stands out. Uh, you can do Worm. You can do Walking Dead. I like that. I like The Walking Dead because, like, they're... I don't know if you guys watched The Walking Dead or not. Their show is absolutely amazing in my opinion. But the way they film and everything just looks amazing. Like, I love it. So, this kind of gives it that, you know, realistic kind of feel. Uh, kind of grainy look. You can do cool. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. And depending on, you know, in this case, we're using this footage, you can do a lot with this because, I mean, well, first of all, it's filmed in 4K. And the second of all, you can do a lot because it's more of a fashion video. So depending what kind of style you're looking for, you can even, you can even do vignettes, which is pretty nice. Right here, as you can see, it's selected Walking Dead, which is nice. And uh, we're going to go on to color. And if you go on to color, you guys can, uh, you know, turn up the exposure, which pretty much lightens the whole entire image. When I say image, it's not picture. I'm saying it can be a video or a picture. It doesn't really matter. But you could uh, decrease the exposure, which makes the uh, the whole image uh, darker, or you know, increase it. Now, as you increase it, the histogram also changes, of course. So the one the uh, on the right side, this is where most of your whites are, and on the left, that's where your darks are. So her hair is obviously too dark. So we can always fix that. So to do that, we can increase the um, I believe it's the shadows right here. So we're going to go on to light, but we're not going to get there just yet. We can increase the brightness. That's what I'm going to do a little bit, not too much. So I think right here would be nice. The contrast, you can either lower that or increase it. If you lower it, you can see a little bit more detail over here. However, I'm going to leave it how it is, so I'm going to go back to zero. You guys can increase the vibrance. So the vibrance is pretty much like the hue in a way. Uh, in this case, I'm going to lower it just to about negative eight. The saturation... Uh, like I said, it's almost like vibrance, but it focuses mainly on the color, the whole entire color. So if you wanted black and white, you can do that as well. Um, however, I'm going to keep it to where it is, so I'm going to go back to zero. And then we go on to light, and this is where you guys can change the, uh, the uh, lighting. So the highlights, we can increase that or decrease it. I think if we increase it, it kind of gives the background a nice little look. And you can see a comparison right here of uh, what we have, of course. 
this one looks much better in my opinion the shadows this is where we're going to increase it you can see her hair now starting to come out however if you increase the shadows her face will get lighter so as well as the whole entire image the whites you can lower that if you want to i think increasing it will look really too overly exposed so maybe about nine would be nice and the blacks these are just her hair or anything that's dark so I'm just gonna leave that where it is so the next one we have is HSL and uh, that is for hue saturation and luminance as you can see here and that pretty much focuses on the pretty much the hue like it's kinda like vibrance but a little bit different it, it targets those specific colors so in this case we don't have any reds we don't have any green well we do kinda have some green but we don't really have oranges or purple or anything like that so we're gonna go on to the orange or the uh, greens and then you could decrease or increase or you can get rid of it see how there's kinda some green there and that's all the way to the left we can get rid of that by moving it to the right and that will make it more kind of like a tur uh, turquoise kinda color however you can decrease that so you can you know minus the saturation and that get that kinda gets rid of the green right there as you can see how it makes it more turquoise I'm gonna get rid of that to about negative 50 now the luminance, the luminance is kind of, I can't really describe luminance, but it kind of makes the, the image a little bit kind of grainy-ish. Uh, however, I don't really like to mess around with the luminance too much. And then lastly, but not, you know, last, is the vignette. And the vignette is pretty much dark corners around the image, the video or picture. And you can increase it by moving it to the left if you want black vignette or if you want a white one. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go with... I think white looks pretty nice but I'm gonna go with the dark one and if you increase it it gets very dark so I'm just gonna go about negative 18 no maybe negative 15 the size is where the offset is pretty much so in this case I'm gonna leave it how it is the roundness this is how round you want it to be maybe you want it to be a circle uh, I think right here is good you can feather it, so if you don't feather it, it's at zero. It's going to be a very harsh edge. However, if you move it more, it kind of blends in with the video, which is what we want. And then the exposure, this is how dark or how bright the image will be from the actual vignette. I'm just going to keep that at zero. And the highlights, uh, I don't really focus or mess around with the highlights, so I leave it as is. Now, you can see this button right here. If you click and hold, this will give you a before, and this is an after uh, after we've done all of the color grading and color or color correction and right here is where you can compare the image before and after so you can do disable right now it's currently on disable comparison but if you click on the split view left to right this will give you a left and right and this is an absolutely awesome feature that Filmora has implemented in the program uh, Final Cut Pro 10 doesn't you know it doesn't give you this feature which is something that I personally really like so you can even play the video and it gives you a before and after like come on Final Cut Pro like step up your game <laughs> but uh, I mean this is really awesome that they added this which is really really nice and it gives you a nice nice visual representation of what you've you know you what you've uh, did and modified you can do top and bottom and you can do that if you wanted to or you can do the reverse or you can do side by side view and uh, this is probably one of my favorite ones so you can see exactly what you have so you can see right there this is far far better you can see kind of her hair a little bit more her face is kinda um, standing out from the background more and it's not very kinda yellow or greenish the wall isn't too uh, you know green and that is an awesome feature and when you guys are all finished just click the save as preset now this is so you guys don't have to go through all of that all over again so we're gonna go ahead and na uh, name this to fashion uh, I'm just naming this to fashion 2016 and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on save so now if we go on to the presets and we click on custom we will have our uh, custom preset that we made uh, which is really cool so you can apply this to any of your videos and uh, if you want to get rid of it just click reset all and click OK and then that's pretty much it and yeah, if you guys found this tutorial in any way helpful, please smash that like button. That would be awesome. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down what you guys want to see next on my next video. And uh, yeah, until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.